a strategy for division, short or long division. Say we want to divide 1,247 by 34. So probably the first thing we should do is just do an estimate. And we could say, well, 1,247, let's call it 1,200. 34, let's call it 30. So now to guess an answer for this division that looks a lot simpler than the one above, first thing we can divide both by 10 by simply crossing the zeros off, one zero from one and one zero from the other. So we have 120 divided by 3. And here we can basically think um, 3 into 12 goes 4 times, but because this is 120, 3 into 120 will go 40 times. So our estimate is 40. This is not the final accurate answer of that division, but it's our estimate. So it could be in the house of 40, 50, 30, but certainly not in the hundreds like 400 or 300. So let's see the, the strategy that we can use for doing 1,247 divided by 34. So we set it up as 1,247 with that bracket divided by 34. So normally what we do now is we ask how many, how many 34s go into and keep going. Who knows the times table of 34? Probably no one, but we can easily write it down. So that's the main strategy. Come to the side and start writing. 34 times 1, 34. 34 times 2, just double it, so 68. Now jump 34 times 4. Well, if I know that 34 times 2 is 68, to go from tables of 34 times 4, all I need to do now is double this answer. So 68 doubled will be 136. We'll talk about the doubling process in a moment. Then we jump again and we say, let's do times table of 8. Why would I choose 8? Because again, doubling tables of 34 times 4, I'll get times table of 34 times 8. So all we have to do is double 136 and that will be 272. So if we look, all we've done here was we doubled. So from 1, 2, 4 and 8. We don't have all the, the list of the tables of 34 from 1 to 10, but we have very key factors here. And maybe let's get another couple. 34 times 10, another easy calc to do in our heads. 340 is just a zero added to the end. Now, if we know the tables of 10 and we have this, we get times table of 5. So half of 340, half of 34 would be 17. So half of 340, 170. This way, as we look here, we have most values of the tables. We just have the 3 missing. And if we need it, we'll just, we can even just add 34. If we need the tables of 6, we'll do it based on the 5s. Or doubling the 3, if we have the 3. If we need the 7s, we can go from the 6. And if we needed the 9, we can go from the 8. But at least we have a good chunk of the tables ready to go and we can start the division. So we would ask ourselves, does 34 go into 1? No. Some people like putting the 0. Into 12, still doesn't go. Into 124. Well, 136, 4 times is too many. 
but perhaps we could try times 3. So adding another 34 here would give us, so it's basically adding the first and the second lines there. So 8 and 4, 12, carry 1. 3, 6 and 1 is 10, 102. So 34 goes into 124 three times because 3 times 34 is 102. So we can write it down, do long division, so 3 times 34, 102, or we can just do the calculation of the remainder in our heads. In this case here, we're going to get 22 left over. Then we have to bring that 7 down, or if we are doing short division, you will have that little number sitting up there. 22 and it will read 227. So now we have how many times does 34 go into 227? Well, times 8 is too many times. So maybe we could try the 6 or the 7. So if we add another 34 here, we are going to get 4, 3 and 17, 204. Can we put another 37 on top of that and still be under 227? Probably not, because then we're going to be 240 something here for the 7 times. So we'll simply say 6 times 34 is 204, and the remainder will be 23. So at this stage, our answer will be 36 the remainder 23 over the original 34.